tonight, St. Louis native Nellie's attorney is speaking out about the rapper who was arrested at Hollywood Casino. Fox 2's Taylor Harris has more details after speaking with Nellie's attorney and police. Global rap superstar and St. Louis native Cornell Nellie Haynes Jr. was arrested early Wednesday by Missouri State Highway Patrol in Maryland Heights. According to Missouri State Highway Patrol, Nellie was taken into custody around 4.45 a.m. at Hollywood Casino in Maryland Heights. The report says while verifying his identity at the casino, an outstanding warrant from Maryland Heights Police Department was found, leading to his arrest without incident. We love you, Nellie. We don't want to see nothing bad happen to you. I hope he get through with his situation right here, right now, because it's not going to make you. Maybe we should just look past it because we all do stupid things sometimes. Look back at Justin Timberlake last month kind of blew right over with the Olympics. No one's talking about it anymore. After arresting him on the outstanding warrant for driving without insurance, Missouri State Highway Patrol said after searching him, they found four ecstasy pills. He was released from jail shortly after his arrest. Missouri State Highway Patrol stated formal charges for felony possession of a controlled substance will be submitted to the St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney's Office. Nellie's attorney Scott Rosenblum issued a statement addressing the arrest stating, Mr. Haynes was not charged with drug possession. He was arrested for no proof of insurance from 2018 on a warrant issued December 2023 that received no notice. Mr. Haynes was targeted by an overzealous out-of-line officer. After winning several jackpots instead of just supervising the transfer of Mr. Haynes' winnings. This officer felt compelled to needlessly run a check for warrants. It is also important to note that Mr. Haynes, as a part of the requirements to travel internationally, is regularly asked to supply proof of no warrants, including FBI checks. There were none. I am 100% confident this case will go nowhere. Several Members and residents told Fox 2 despite the legal issue that they will stand by Nelly, focusing on his remarkable legacy and hopeful for a positive resolution. Reporting from University City, Taylor Harris, Fox 2 News.